The Ethiopian France relations goes back to 1836 when the kings of both countries at that time reached an agreement to respect each other's sovereignty. But the formal diplomatic relation between them was established in 1897 with the aim of advancing their socio-economic and political interests. The French relationship has started around 1897. That is the first time the French delegation was opened in Ethiopia. Therefore, France was one of the first European countries who have opened an embassy in Ethiopia. During the reign of Emperor Menelik, the French company constructed the Ethiopia-Djibouti Railway, which testifies the long age development cooperation between the two countries. Just before having the current name Ethiopia-Djibouti Railway, it was called Ethiopia-France Railroad. Over the past century, it has played a vital role in the development of Ethiopia by connecting the country to the port of Djibouti. This railroad remains a strong reminder of the Ethiopia-France relations. The Djibouti-Ethiopia railroad, which is about 780 kilometers long, have been built earlier on. Renovating the, this railroad also is one of the elements, one of the areas where we, we can do a lot. Um, France, though had been in the past focusing on Francophone Africa's, African countries, is now coming out of it and coming to Africa in a massive way. So therefore, uh, we are working on uh, benefiting from this uh, French outreach. The relationship between Ethiopia and France went on in other sectors too. In 1958, a cultural agreement was signed to promote and fortify cultural exchanges. In this regard, the popular Lycée Gabramariam and Franco-Ethiopian Alliance schools have been contributing their share by teaching French language and showcasing the two countries' culture. Uh, if you take the cultural cooperation as well, since we do have uh, scientific, technical and cultural cooperation agreements that we have signed, uh, you do have uh, institutions like Lycée uh, Gabramariam that deal with education, and uh, we do have uh, Alliance France as well. Uh, they do a lot of uh, interesting things in the areas of uh, cultural uh, cooperation between the two countries. Today, many French people are coming to Ethiopia for different purposes. This movement is further strengthening the existing people-to-people -people relations of the two countries. When I arrived here two years ago, there were 600 French people in Ethiopia. Now there are 1,000 because there, are more, there is more business, more companies. You know, when uh, France Telecom came, came with families, so certainly 100 people more are coming. When Vernier came for the windmill, they came a group of engineers, so it, you know, it brought more people in Ethiopia, and so on and so forth. Today, a French company, French consultant, has been chosen for the Millennium Dam. So for us, we appreciate very much. It's a sign of confidence, confidence of, uh, front of Ethiopia towards France. So, yes, it's growing, and so the number of people coming are growing. Another aspect is tourism. We have a lot of French tourists uh, coming in the thousands, tens of thousands. Um, Ethiopia is new. People don't know Ethiopia. Ethiopia is interesting. You have a lot of uh, history, Christian places, Muslim places, and you also have the deep south. You know, you have La Libela and Gonda, La Libela and Arar. So yes, this is also people to people. I can tell you, in the last two years, there were a lot of uh, TV shows on French TV about Ethiopia, and a special country. A country that is unique, doesn't look like any others, very special, so people want to see that, and people are coming in numbers. The diplomatic relations of the two countries has come a long way, and many remarkable achievements have been registered in the area of development cooperation. Indeed, this age-old relation has gone through lots of ups and downs in connection with the varying political system in Ethiopia. We have, uh, we had very, we had no relations with Ethiopia in terms of economics simply because it was not possible to do business at that time. Uh, it was a, a very tough situation. Economic uh, was in shambles, so uh, our ties were very low um, at that time. And as you remember, uh, there was a, a moment where we we issued a statement in favor of the independence of Eritrea, and then 
and then uh, a number of our political staff was expelled from Ethiopia. So at that time, relations was, were very bad. The relationship between uh, the two countries dur during the military rule uh, was not encouraging. Um, it was, we can say safely, it was at uh, its lowest level um, because of the political situations that have been prevailing at the time. After the change of government in Ethiopia in 1991, the relationship between the two countries has begun to flourish again. Today, they are enjoying wonderful socio-economic and political relations based on mutual benefits. This is attributed to Ethiopia's foreign policy which promotes the idea of global partnership and peaceful coexistence with all countries of the world, including France. Ethiopia's policy not only has enabled to create excellent relations with countries of the world, but also brought about remarkable achievement in economic growth at home. Ethiopia is doing well. Ethiopia is a country of 88 million inhabitants. Ethiopia is a country with more than 10% growth. Ethiopia is one of the fastest growing countries in the world. It is one of the fastest growing countries in Africa. So there are a lot of opportunities in this country and more and more French companies come in all fields, like hydroelectricity, agriculture, tourism, telephone, so many fields, beer. So there are more and more French companies in this country and more and more are coming and we are very happy about it. So the, we started from scratch and now we have a very high exchanges, very good exchanges. We are very happy about it. So the relationship between the two countries have warmed up uh, because there is the change of the foreign policy content by the new government, uh, in which case Ethiopia has already mapped, mapped out a foreign policy that um, would take it to analyze itself with all countries uh, across the globe, and France is one of them. Both Ethiopia and France have begun frequent exchanges of high-level government officials, which shows the existing excellent political relations between the two countries. For instance, French Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Agriculture, and a parliamentary delegation have visited Ethiopia at different times and occasions. Similarly, the French President Nicolas Sarkozy has paid an official working visit to Addis Ababa during the AU summit in January 2011. It was the first French President's visit to Ethiopia in 14 years. From the Ethiopian side, Prime Minister Malazenawi has visited France several times, including during the G8 and G20 summits. Other Ethiopian government officials, such as the Minister of Finance, Minister of Labor and Social Affairs, Minister of Agriculture, and others have also visited France at different times. This all shows that the relation between the two countries is really moving. When my president comes here, comes with businessmen, so they see the country, they are encouraged, they are ready then to, they are in confidence to, to invest. The same applies to Prime Minister Meles when he went to France for the G820. He talked to the French businessmen, there is an association of French businessmen, so he talked to them. He basically told them, uh, this is Ethiopia, and uh, you can make money in Ethiopia, so you could invest in Ethiopia, and a lot of them uh, listened to him, and a lot of them are coming. So that is how this relation uh, is not just words, it, it, it translates into concrete actions, concrete investments, concrete jobs, uh, concrete exchanges. So that is how it is. The frequency of the visits by the officials of the two countries um, highlights the level of the relationship between the two countries. Uh, when the officials exchange visits, they talk about bilateral relations. They talk about strengthening their bilateral relations, further stre strengthening the existing bilateral relations as well. They also talk about regional issues of the common interest. That is why, as you have correctly said, the recent visit of the Prime Minister during the GA summit in, in Paris and the, the, the visit of the, His Excellency uh, President Sarkozy to Ethiopia in January um, during the uh, African Union summit is also the highlights of this visit.
Ethiopia and France have been discussing several world issues such as climate change, global financial crisis and infrastructure, and the role of Africa in the world in different occasions like the G8 and G20 summits. As member countries of the United Nations, both Ethiopia and France appreciate the existence of peace and security in the world, which is the main concern of the organization. Ethiopia is the only country in the whole of Africa to be stable. Ethiopia is surrounded by very unstable countries, that is Somalia, with, uh, you know, some Al-Qaeda people, with Eritrea, which is uh, playing a strange game in the region, with North Sudan, which is still unstable, and with South Sudan, which is very new. So we appreciate this uh, stability, and as I mentioned to you, there are very few countries in the world today with 10% growth. So we are here because of the stability, because it is our interest. As you know, we have a presence in Djibouti. We have 2,000 troops in Djibouti. The stability of the own is our interest. So if Ethiopia is stable, it's good for us. If you take the political relationship as well, it's, it's uh, so robust. Uh, we, do view, we do share um, similar views on uh, uh, regional peace and security. Uh, we, do have, we do undertake common efforts so as to overcome some regional problems, like the problems that we have in, 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 in Somalia, in Sudan, and recently even in Libya. So we do have uh, similar views on how to go about overcoming regional problems in our part of the world. Ethiopia views France as one of the most important partners for the development cooperation, and the same is true with France. For instance, since 2000, Ethiopia has been part of the French Priority Solidarity Zone for Development Assistance. In 2004, the French development assistance to Ethiopia amounted to 9.8 million euro. This figure reached 79 million euro between 2006 and 2010. The two countries have continued cooperating on different development sectors. We also have very good uh, relation in the field of uh, development. We have multiplied this year by seven our contribution to Ethiopia, basically through the French Development Bank. We are very active in uh, energy. Uh, this bank has finance. Uh, the construction in Mekele of uh, wind energy, uh, windmill uh, farm. We are now working on the interconnection between Kenya and Ethiopia. They are also very active in uh, uh, town development, Addis Ababa development, transport, uh, waste management, so yes, a lot is happening, and uh, basically uh, this relation uh, are doing well. The Ethio Telecom management contract, which was made between the French telecom company and the Ethiopian government, is also in progress. Take the example of Ethio Telecom. I think it is a strategic decision of Ethiopia to decide to go through a Western company a Farange company, to do this type of business. I think it is a sign of confidence, because this is a strategic sector, that Ethiopia agrees to give the key of such a company in terms of management to French company is a sign of confidence. This is the way we see it. Tomorrow, I hear that Ethiopia will do the same with EPCO, a French company is also interested to, to do for EPCO what France Telecom is doing for uh, Etionet. So, if it works, it will be another sign of confidence. Another example that we have not yet mentioned is last year when uh, Ethiopia, or rather Ethiopian Airlines, bought Airbus. This is a sign of confidence in French technology. You know, it's the first time Ethiopian Airlines buys Airbus. It's the first time an African company buys Airbus A350. Uh, France Telecom is uh, a very big, a giant telecom uh, company. Uh, 
uh, among the 10 uh, top uh, uh, in the world. So uh, accordingly, it's expected in the contract management to deliver both beneficiary system implementation and the uh, no transfer of knowledge. As part of further consolidating the existing relationship of these countries, there are also other form of cooperation programs going on between Ethiopian and French cities. 20 years ago, it is relation between cities and cities. The first one was a city in France called Blomenil and Deborah Berhan. Uh, twinnings. It's not just twinnings, it's in Deborah Berhan. Uh, it came with a very strong program of uh, water and sanitation. Last year, the Brebenhan got a prize in Ethiopia as the first best city in Ethiopia for water and sanitation. Now we have an exchange between Lyon, the French city, and Addis Ababa, with another French city called Villeurbanne, and uh, Diridawa between charleville mezier and another French city, and Arar, between Gondar and Vincennes. Vincennes is a city close to Paris with a big castle. So we are developing a program to use better the castle of Gondar to attract more business, more tourism. So these are contract things. We are also working on uh, twinning with Mekele. In July 2004, Ethiopia and France ratified a bilateral investment promotion and protection agreement to encourage and protect investments. Accordingly, there are substantial numbers of French investment projects in Ethiopia. Some of them are in operation and others are on the process. The current French investment in Ethiopia mainly focuses on four sectors. Brewery, distribution of petroleum products, floriculture and hotel industry. If we take the trade relation of the two countries, France has been an excellent market destination for Ethiopian commodities. Ethiopia has been also an outstanding market for France. In 2010, the total trade grew to over 2 billion Ethiopian birr from 0 0.73 billion birr five years earlier. But still the balance remains firmly in favor of France, with Ethiopian exports amounting to 210 million birr in 2010, and import from France reaching 1.81 billion per. French uh, is uh, one of our greatest trading partners in Europe. Perhaps it's one of the elephants in terms of rank. And uh, the second largest investment from Europe comes from France. Uh, they have involved in uh, various fields of uh, our economic life. Um, you, you, you can talk about the BGI, investment in brewery, you can talk about the Accor Hotel, uh, which is bent on uh, building uh, four-star hotels in Ethiopia. Uh, Total is also one of it. There is a French involvement also in the horticulture system, in the horticulture development. Uh, apart from this also, there were varieties of uh, activities uh, that we undertake uh, via the cooperation with the f government of French. Both Ethiopia and France are countries with glorious history, ancient civilization, and beautiful culture. Their diplomatic relation is very old, even though it went through bad times. Today, things have been changed. They have lots of common issues to work on together. In general, the horizon of the two countries' relation is expanding from time to time.